Good morning, YouTube. Hey guys, I am out here with a good friend of mine, Mr. Keith Acker from Shreveport, Louisiana. Halton. And Halton. Halton. Halton, Louisiana, right by Shreveport. Um, so uh, also a fishing guide. Yes, Tell sir. real quick what you do. Uh, I like to take people out uh, to take them on guide trips or take them to, to learn live scope. Perfect. He's a great teacher, guys. Also Crappie Cove Pro Staff and ACC Pro Staff, um, along with some others. Who was some of the other? Uh, I hold jig, uh, canine fishing line, uh, mud hole outdoors, thump doctor jigs, uh, gray wolf fly shop or the crappie shop. Uh, so yeah, got a bunch of them. Got a bunch of them. So guys, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna talk about the summer bite, how to find these fish during the the hard times. This is kind of what we're yes. we're doing. Yeah, I'm learning from Key today. Uh, great teacher, great person. Um, I'm I'm excited about it. So, um, hey guys, real quick, as I start with every, uh, every video, let's do a quick prayer, uh, if you would. Lord God, we thank you for today. We thank you for allowing us to be out here today and fish in your nature. Uh, pray that you'll give us a safe trip uh, out here. Uh, if you see to it that we catch some fish, that'd be awesome. Uh, if you don't, we understand. But we thank you for loving us, Lord God. We thank you for sending your son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for our sins and to save us. Lord, we love you. It's in your son's name we pray, amen. All right, buddy. Let's get to fishing, man, shall we? Yes, sir. Let's do it. I'm an American. And I'm a citizen of this world and of heaven. Some things were meant to be together. I believe in faith and freedom. Got a country to. There we go. Fish number uno. Boy, that thing is warm. What you wanna do, put them on top of this ice for now? Okay. So guys, we are keeping these fish today. Have us a little fish fry. So guys, we're not gonna be catching monsters today. Um, there we go, we're just catching fish, and that's what it's about today. That's what it's about anyway. The bite's so bad in a lot of these lakes. I got that thing right behind you, in case you need it. Okay, the bite that I'm using today is an eye hole jig to where you can add a scent uh, with a glow-in-the-dark stump bug. Uh, with stump bug, you can make the profile smaller, and this time of year when they get finicky, uh, for those of you who use scent, uh, that helps as well as uh, you're able to, to shrink the profile on these stump bugs. Yeah. Uh, as well as it's glow in the door. Uh, How do you shrink? Uh, do you pull the tail off or the legs? Just I, curious. I just pull, pull off the, legs. the two on the side and leave a little bitty piece in the middle for a paddle. Yeah, that's, I do the same. I was saying that when once the fish, you can identify the fish as senior bait. Uh, you start trying to take it away from them. You don't want to jerk it, but you want to raise it up fast to where they start thinking that it's trying to get away from them. Um, and go from making it to where they're sitting there looking at your bait and examining your bait to it's a reaction bite to where they're forced to think it's getting away and have to bite it. Uh, before it gets out of there. Yeah. Uh, yep, it worked. I didn't didn't stick him, but he he went after it and bit it. All right, Keith's having good luck with the uh, just the white glow by Bonehead. I'm gonna go with the uh, bonfire. I've had some pretty good success on. Let's see what happens. 
I'm not gonna pull the legs off yet. We'll do it after a while. They don't bite. Hey guys, this is what I'm using right now, the Bonfire Glow by Bonehead. You can buy them at crappycove.com. Check it out. Discount code's below, guys. Gotta wash that trolling motor, man. I've caught some big fish, which turned out to be my trolling motor. <laughs> yeah, that's a mighty strong bite. It tore the end of my rod off. I don't know where I'm at. Did you get him? There you go, oh, yeah. All right, guys, so you don't even have to watch the whole video to get the point of what we're about to say. And that is, the summer bite is not always great, but the August bite is usually terrible. Uh, I think that goes for everybody. We got lucky here to this day. We had a little cold front that came through, changed uh, the barometer, changed everything, and we were able to catch some fish. Uh, but this is not normal. So <clears throat> the answer to this, the way to get around this, is to cover water, to move. Uh, as soon as you quit catching them, move to the next thing. If you're fishing brush piles, you got to move to another brush pile. If you're fishing standing timber, you've got to cover a lot of timber. These fish are lethargic. They don't want to move. They want to sit there and wait for food to come to them. And that's what we're doing. But guys, while we're looking for another spot, um, this water temperature right now, the surface temperature is 93 degrees. Um, it's going to be, it's only 73 right now but it's gonna get hot today. Uh, we, we're, we had a cold front that came through and cooled it off about five degrees, but that's gone now. So just feeling hot air blowing on us. It's definitely summertime. Definitely following your bait as well as going to hit your bait. Yep. Cut him right there, right at the top. Well, that was a good tip he gave. Pulled it up, I've always pulled it up a little slow. When they start following, he said pull it up fast and thing hit me almost at the top of the lake. Right. Nothing else, Keith, I learned something today. Oh shoot, there you go. Those are yeah. some of your fish that want to bite. That's what I keep trying to get is the outside edge up. I'm not getting yeah. it. Yeah, kind of readjust. Spot rocks got us. Ah, he hit. I just didn't pull in fast enough. That was on that other limb. Cut him right there. Yes. God, all these fish are hot. It will be close. I'll measure him up. Yeah, this is fun, dude. Heck yeah. What's that? So everybody thinks you got to catch big fish to have fun. Oh no, well, you just gotta catch fish, man. That's it. He's gonna be close. Let me check him. Oh yeah, don't you dare get out this boat, boy. Keith, this is fun, man. We hadn't uh, gotten a fish together before. No. In the same boat, anyway. We keep saying we can do it for a while.
<laughs> Little bit in. What's that? He's a keeper? No. Nope. He's about about nine. Stop. Just under. Nine and three quarters. Yep. Thanks for participating there, buddy. There you go. Alright guys, got a jig Mr. Leonard Stevens sent me. Give that one a shot. Look at that. Uh, Woo! Yep, don't have to measure it, buddy. Leonard, appreciate the jig. Sent me a whole bunch of stuff. I'll show you this one. You can see it. Zoom in a little bit here. Beautiful little jig. Worked well. There we go. Guys, I appreciate when y'all send me jigs. I do my best to use them. Um, sometimes I've used them on, I know Sid Lewis has sent me some stuff as well. I've used them, I think one on camera and other times I haven't recorded for some reason. Or it didn't record, but anyway, guys, I thank y'all for sending these things. Boat is half the battle. Yeah. They're so lively. Look at that. Technique works. It does. Had one come look, started pulling up fast. He shot up, got got it halfway probably between the tree and the and the deck uh, and the top of the lake. Technique definitely works. And he's bleeding, so hopefully, yeah, he's big enough. Oh, no, he's not. Oh, he's bleeding from the top. He's not from me. Too small to keep, but it's too much fun to let him go. It's not where I wanted to go, but... What's that? Said they were able to get fish fight on that. There you go. Leonard, I like it. Oh yeah, barely. All right, let's see. Let's go with a different jig color now. And those may be too big. Yeah, I get We gonna have us a mess of fish. 
the best eating size. Oh yeah. It's got the best, as I call it, bread to fish oh. ratio. Bread to fish, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Let me get in here. Fish right <laughs> Let's go ahead and pull the beard hair jig out. <sighs> Finally. My fault though, I've been experimenting. All right, guys, so you saw, saw me catch that just now. We're going to go ahead and end this uh, episode. We're going to do a two-part series with Mr. Keith Ackard. We got about, what, 30 right now? Yes, sir. So, uh, perfect. Um, we got 20 more fish to catch, man. Yes. So, uh, we're going to do that next week. So Y'all stay tuned. Uh, we'll, not sure what we're talking about yet. We'll find that out in a minute. But, uh, again, the hot summer bite. Once again, why don't you sum up what we... Um, like I said, what I tell a lot of folks is... Uh, you don't always have to go chase the trophies. Um, there's nothing wrong with catching a box of eaters, and if that's all that the summer will give you, then uh, take it. Uh, they're the best eating fish, uh, then, yep. then target them. Uh, it's better to go home with fish to eat than to, to go home empty-handed. That's it, buddy. That's it. Brother, it's been fun. We'll keep Enjoy. going. We're going to keep fishing. Absolutely. Shell next week, so y'all stay tuned. Have a blessed day, guys.